Hello everybody, Prince of the Bear here, and we're back at Magic Kingdom because we're finally getting around to Crystal Palace dinner. Uh, you guys have been asking for us to go to Crystal Palace for ages, and here we are. We're long last. Crystal Palacing it. Hopefully this food is crystal or I'm gonna fight somebody. I haven't heard good things. We'll we're see. gonna go find out for ourselves. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And enjoy all of the things that you care to enjoy in the food world. You heard the girl. This is what you get, and this is what you get. And we get all the stuff and things. Hopefully, we'll see if we talk to an allergy chef. The last word I had this here for brunch because it's available for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's the only vegan mixed drink you're gonna get here because the um, Jack Rose is not. Gin drink, and it's gonna make you feel fancy. It's got a ginger bite to it, it's got a gin bite to it, it's a little tart. It's not the best drink in the world, but it'll get the job done. I will give it a three out of five gin drinks. We all know, without really saying, that the princess always gets the last word. <laughs> I just drink it. It's like battery acid mixed with Kool-Aid with not enough sugar. It tastes like medicine ought to taste. I feel like I just drank some tough. And it ain't making the pain go away. That's a one out of five. Then we have the Jack Rose. Now the last word and the Jack Rose are part of the new cocktail program here at Magic Kingdom at Table Services. You can now get cocktails. Now are they pre-mixed cocktails? Yes. But baby steps. One day, somebody will give me a bar in Cast On's Tavern. Like an actual one. Probably not anytime in the next 20 years. But I have hope though. Sometime while I can still walk, you might get a bar in Magic Kingdom. And this is tart, but tasty. Said it last time, even this time. If you're going to get one of the new cocktails here, the Palace, get the Jack Rose. Unfortunately, it's not vegan. So you vegans are gonna have to suffer because none of the wine here is vegan either. It's gonna be beer or that horrible battery acid in the cup. This, four to five. Only by comparison. I'm ashamed of myself for spilling. But at least it has the proper amount of head. Alcohol abuse. Maybe wish I would have <laughs> I love me a good blue moon. Princess will not drink these. She absolutely despises blue moon. She hates it when I get them. She thinks it tastes like wheat beer. Because it is wheat beer. To me, it's nice and bready with the head of citrus. A little bit of coriander, I think, to the moon. It's three and a half out of five. We have this large, beautiful vegan fried rice, and I'm so glad they were able to make me something off menu. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, this tastes so good. I'm here for all of it. It's not like heavy on the soy sauce, but it's good on the flavor. I'm sad that it's an off menu item. It should be an on menu item. And I will give it a three and a half out of five fried rice. Portion control is a problem with buffets. This looks like it belongs in a buffet as is. Like this is a huge portion. The princess, this would last the princess a good four days at all. <laughs> If she were to eat this in the house. This is a lot of fried rice. If you could eat this much fried rice and stuff and walk around the park the rest of the way, 
Maybe you need to be a guest on this channel. Got some mushrooms, broccoli, some green onions. We'll take the peppers. The princess hates those anyway. Uh, we'll just dig all in. We'll get all the things. And there's a little bits of uh, broken up seasoned tofu in here. I mean, like this stuff, fry dry. Probably a bigger fork than I meant to get. But we commit to our mistakes. Very hot. Blow on your food, kids. Well seasoned. With that head of soy. It's certainly your fried rice. And I like the fixings. It feels very um, hearty. Uh, we cook fried rice or versions of fried rice at home a lot with rice and farro. The ratio between vegetables and rice is always the hard part. It nails it. Give it three and a half to five minutes. I just put lettuce and cucumber and um, carrot and tomato with and balsamic. This is an it, you guys. The salad, that's not it. It's a basic AF, and I would rather go to Soup Plantation, aka Sweet Tomatoes. It doesn't exist anymore. I would rather go to a closed restaurant than eat this salad. One out of five salads. It does not toss my salad. It doesn't even begin to stir my salad. I don't know why I'm eating salad again. I just had salad. Maybe I didn't have salad. I can't keep track of my face. We eat too much food. Buffets are not fun for me. We eat everything just for you guys. And some of the stuff is just not great. I don't get to pick and choose the fun stuff like you guys do. I'm eating... <laughs> I'm eating slimy tomatoes and weak looking iceberg rice. It's not iceberg, it's romaine. Romaine rice. Technically, it's solid. Two and a half out of five. Minutes. Parker House roll, one of two plant based options. You gotta ask for Earth Balance separate. Our server hasn't really been around for me to do that. It's not even like the best roll that I've had. Like, I think I've had better rolls in. Trails in? Is that mean? You mean that? I think so. You actually mean I that. think I mean that. I think I mean that. It's probably the same. This is not a good restaurant for dinner. Why why do we come in for dinner? Like breakfast is what what you should do. Like forget dinner is a vegan. Just forget it. What are you ready for? Oh, so one, uh, one and a half out of five breads is, is too dry to give me good bread. When I went to the buffet earlier, all the bread was gone except for these. Which is very telling. Which means that these have probably been sitting up there for quite a while. Because on this side, it's nice and soft. And moist like I expect to roll. On this side, which is probably the side with the heat lamp, it's as dry as a brand new sponge. Let's just eat this half. The half that doesn't feel like it's been sitting in a heat lamp for like an hour. Nope, we're still back. That must be like walking in a desert for his life. One of the five
Here's our beautiful pretzel bun that we usually get at, um, it's a beer garden pretzel. He's a cute chunk. Yes, baby. No bother. He understands. Mediocre pretzel. I would give it like a two and a half out of five pretzels. I'd rather go to Beer Garden. We like a good pretzel roll. It's a pretzel. It's in fact pretzel. It's not a Germany pretzel. It's a pretzel. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> Two out of five points. Here we go, we're gonna potato. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Or maybe don't. <laughs> because they're just salty and nothing else. One out of five potatoes. I feel like this is like probably one of the worst buffets we've been to outside of Trails Island. I'm just saying it now. Potatoes are a little sus. Just a little bit. That's a real potato. Salty, cooked all the way through. It's one of the more consistent sides we've had so far. Two and a half out of five pounds. Jasmine rice. I feel like there is no other jasmine rice that will compare to Tusker House. So let's see. Oh wow. That is tasty and flavorful. I think that is one of the best things that I've had on this buffet line. Four out of five rices. I feel like this is a Tusker House rice. It's amazing. Who cooks this? Hot steamy rice. Any day. Every day. I was gonna be stuck with a food that I had to eat every day. At least once a day, it would be rice. Bar none. Not sushi, not sandwiches, not not even whiskey. If I was forcing one thing every single day, or at least once a day, it would definitely be nice. It would probably be jasmine. It would be jasmine or sushi. Nice and fragrant, perfectly cooked, not undercooked, and not overcooked. Most people in this country should be able to cook rice and not ruin it. If you can, I don't expect three and a half out of five. This is the vegetable chana masala, and I wish that we had the little crackery thing that we had for breakfast here because this doesn't look anywhere close to the delicious Indian food we had for brunch. Nor does it taste like it. It's pretty bland for a masala. And I wouldn't, like, no. It's watery, and I would rather go to, like, Boma. Two out of five masalas. I could make an instant masala better than this, and I never do that. This is terrible. This is not worth your time. Don't come here. You can sort of see our disappointment grow. Not just this from review, any food review. It's cumulative. We have a very hard time hiding our reaction to food. It's probably how you can tell they're genuine because when we don't like something, we're very vocal about it. Especially when they're cultural foods. If you're gonna do it, you do them right. I'm afraid about this. Okay, they tried, okay? I wanna give them credit for it. Is it technically masala? Yes. And there's too much tomato, not enough seasoning. So the tomato overpowers what little masala flavor you do have. So it comes out tasting really weak, with the tomato sauce being so like, 
watery and less saucy. You probably could uh, cook these in a tomato so tomato based sauce and dump them on a plate and then we'll come out the same. The chickpeas are really super crap. I see what the prince is so upset. Two out of five plus. To the cast movies. I love cast movies. But Disney, your labeling is getting ridiculous. So, so this salad, the salad bar is backwards. Salad bar started with dressing, and then croutons, and then the lettuce. Like in a line. And then the fixings on the salad at the end, and then none of the dressings are labeled. So like there's a group of dressings here, and they look like maybe ranch, and maybe Italian, and maybe, I, I don't know, because there's no labels on anything. Uh, so I have a salad stuff. And assorted veggies. So I got carrots and egg and a lettuce. A lettuce is also assorted, so you didn't tell you what kind of lettuce it was. You, you, you get what you get, apparently. Apparently the Joker is making this, this salad bar. I don't even know what kind of dressing I put on this salad, honestly. It was brown. Brown dressing. Balsamic vinaigrette? I think it was Italian. It smells like Italian. Italian that's brown? <gasps> Not Italian. <laughs> It's fresh, crunchy. They're in the process of refilling the bar. I'm gonna have to go back for the bread. The salad bar is terrible. I'm gonna give the salad a two and a half out of five claws. The salad bar, I'm giving it a one. Salad bars may have to maintain a proper order to work. Luckily, I have nice guests here with me that are willing to treat me spots in line so I can get what I needed. That was an ordeal. That was almost an adventure in and of itself. Not the winning the food guy. Then we have the assorted meats, also not labeled. So, uh, oh god, I hate salami. That is definitely salami. They're just assorted meats. You're killing me with this label. It's really not that hard. If we had been outside, I would have spit that out. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I hate salami. It's slimy, the flavor is too strong, it sticks in your mouth. Uh, it's a 0.5 out of five claws. Only because I have some sort of table manners and I just put that on the floor. At least, at least they had peel and eat shrimp. I have that. Not mad at that one. I will take all the shrimp I can get for $65. Problem is you gotta peel it. And I didn't get any sauce. Because I didn't want to have to switch to the people again to get the right sauce. Because for the shrimp, the sauce is also before the shrimp. It's very confusing. I think it's safe to say that we do not like Crystal Palace even after her first dish. I haven't got, I've only done a third of the bar. I'm, I, I'm giving them a chance, I'm giving them a chance. Maybe it's just that one spot. I have the whole rest of the buffet to do. Peeling new shrimp is peeling new shrimp. It's fresh, so it doesn't taste like it's been uh, sitting in the freezer for three years. Not too ishy. It does well. If, if anything, it's probably the best thing on the salad bar. Three and a half out of five stars. But the bar is low. Maybe skip the salad this time? You don't pay for salad at salad bar anymore. Or a buffet. It's not where you come here. You want the meats and the non-vegan food. Unless you're vegan, I, I suppose you do come with the salad. I don't know what I'm getting at. 
So far, I'm very disappointed. I went back for a second plate. Let's hope this plate is better than the last. So, I did have the lavash and I went back. It's a black pepper and That's parmesan lavash. lavash. This is a lavash. That's not lavash. It's like you a lavash, lavash cracker. Zero out of five Persian lavashes. I figured the princess would not approve. It's basically like a lavash cracker. It's, it's not... Pepper. It's not lavash. You've had Persian lavash before. How does it compare? Stale. That's not... There's a parmesan and black pepper cracker. This is not lavash. If you fed this to an Iranian, and they'd be highly upset. This is not great. I was gonna put something on top of this. Not anymore. For our Middle Eastern friends out there, for you, I'm giving this a one out of five stars. Even though I hate them, I got green beans for you guys. So their claim to fame here is green beans, onions, and bacon. I don't even think bacon can save green beans. Let's find out. If you're putting them in the order of flavor, it's definitely green bean, onion, bacon. Like bacon left. There's a hint of bacon in there. Like bacon bits. But not really bacon. They're cute. They're, they got a nice crunch to them. They're not rubbery. They're okay. It's a standard vegetable. Two and a half out of five bucks. Now we come around to the cheesy broccoli. And I know that cheese is a favorite topping of most people on broccoli. I like my broccoli plain. Nice steamed trees. I don't need cheese. But it's very cheesy. Not even nooch. I like my broccoli plain and boring. Let's give it a try. Broccoli's nice and crisp. And their cheddar is bringing a flavor. The flour. And it's seasoned. I'm not mad at that. Four out of five points. We have Walt's mashed potatoes. Not just mashed potatoes, but Walt's mashed potatoes. As he would have preferred them, apparently skin on and very creamy. I should probably take a magic pill before I eat this. That is very buttery. I will be in the comments. Very buttery. If I get sick after this video, we'll pin this comment. But you just know I did it to myself. Now we have our first major meat. We have uh, the fried chicken. Fried chicken on the same side of the mashed potatoes and the broccoli. It makes sense. It is a fried breast, so no bone. 
Put some decent like breading on it. I don't need all this. I'm gonna chop it up. Scoop it all the way through. Doesn't look very greasy. You know? That's quite good. Seasoned breading. Juicy white meat chicken. As far as fried chicken goes, it's no um it's no homecoming. It's pretty tasty. I won't have to slap your mama from this chicken. It's not that tasty, but it's still pretty good. Three and a half out of five. Points. This most wonderful thing about wonderful tickets is he's the, the only, only one. one. He's the only one. Hey. T guy triple trigger. Right. T guy double trigger. That's right. That's right. We love and appreciate you. You are camera ready. You are the best tigger of all the tigers. Back again because I have to try all this stuff before I'm not gonna be allowed to leave. The friends will only chain me to this table if I don't finish everything. So next up we have rainbow honey glazed carrots. That's a carrot? It's a carrot. Honey glazed carrot. You need to be cooked a little bit longer. A little bird stuff. Tastes good. Two out of five plus. And we have a whole over from breakfast. Shrimp and grits. The same shrimp, cheddar grits, and shrimp that we had at breakfast, they have at dinner. I didn't bother separating this time. We know what you're gonna do with the shrimp and the grits. If you're gonna get one and get, not get the other, maybe some of you do. So shrimp and grits. We're gonna go ahead and go and call it shrimp and grits. But if you aren't, if you are vegetarian, you could just get the grits if you want. Local shrimp, very cheddary grits. A little bit of seasoning, a little spice to it. Probably use a little bit more heat. It's got zero out of 10 on the spice scale. What is these flavorful? It's got a nice punch to it. I mean, three and a half out of five points. It's brightening my spirits a little bit. Then we have a nice spinach ravioli. I got a single ravioli. I know this is probably filled with cheese, uh, but that would make it vegetarian. No meatsies. There's ravioli. Ricotta and spinach. Very strong amount of spinach. I like a lot of spinach. In my balance of ravioli. I'll give that one a solid three out of five points. This is uh, from a seafood station. Uh, it's supposed to be a seared mahi mahi. I didn't mean to get two pieces, but they were kind of stuck together. So it was a seared mahi mahi in a romesco sauce. Now for romesco, this does not look like seared mahi mahi. It almost is boiled. <laughs> not boiled, baked. But seared? I don't care how you flip this thing. I'm not getting seared. Look into that. There's no sear on that. Let's get some of the romesco, because I'm not even going to eat the rest. I love mahi mahi. I grew up on the islands of mahi mahi. It just smells bad. I won't call your parents. I'm not calling the cops, and I won't call your parents. That is not seared my mind. And it's not good. It's a an ocean forward textureless mess. 
It's it is technically mine. It's just not. I'm not feeling it. Even the Romesco sauce is mahi, it's not feeling it. You know how I feel about when restaurants do my fish wrong. The shrimp and grits is so good though. One out of five. Oh, goodness. And then I tried to dress like Christopher Robin. Because you know, we know where you go hide right because, after us. You know, uh, uh, we love our uh, silly little bear. <laughs> okay, now we gotta do a group hug. Yes, group group hug. hug. So back again from the meat station, I'm giving Crystal Palace more opportunities to break my little foodie heart. I'm just gonna jump right into the chicken. Chicken's always my favorite, next to fish. And you already messed up fish. So let's see what you do with this uh, oven roasted chicken. This does look actually oven roasted. Put some weird cuts back there, but definitely oven roasted. That is sufficient, nice and juicy. Hasn't dried out, sitting in the lamp. Got a lot of flavor to it. All high marks. Three out of five plus. Next up, we have herbed sausage. They were very specific that it was with herbs. Clearly, they weren't kidding. That's a lot of herbs. This is being real. Herbs. Herbs. A lot of herbs. Very herby. And sausage with herbs. Kind of greasy. Urban and throat. I give it two and a half out of five plus. If you want sausage, it'll give it to you. But you're not gonna remember it tomorrow. Oh, uh, the uh, fried rib. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We have one of two meats from the licensed carving station. Uh, we have the prime rib with a horseradish crema. Medium rare, nice big slice. A little fatty, I'm not gonna lie. It's got a, it's got a little bit of, a little bit of fat on it. Not the best cut. This is why we have knives. There's nothing for me. It's a joyless piece of meat. Have you ever eaten prime rib and felt nothing? It's supposed to make you feel things, prime rib. Prime rib. Not second rib. Third rib. Prime rib. Even Optimus Prime would be upset. Wrong park, wrong idea. Horseradish crema is crema. You hear the hint of the horseradish? Two out of five claws, it's edible. But forgettable. Here we have the last of the meats, the pork loin. Now the carving stations are 100% dependent on where they are in cutting the roast and the loin when you're at the station. They did drop a new prime rib roast right as they got the pork loin. Nice, big, juicy one. A lot better color and a lot more flavor than the one that I had, but I wasn't gonna ask for more. 
So I just got the pork loin with the uh, peach chutney that's supposed to go with it. They give you very small servings of the pork loin. Oversized of the prime rib. Smaller of the pork, which seems like you would do the other way around. Maybe that's just me. It's a butter knife ain't cutting it. <laughs> A little bit little of this peach chutney. Don't worry, it's not mango, we checked. With the peach, it's not bad. It's a nice flavor combination. Pork and chutneys go pretty well together. It's not the pork by itself. Uh, the pork's dry and chewy. It needs the chutney, that's not a good sign. Breakfast is so good here. Why has dinner been such a disappointment? It makes you feel so good. It, makes it almost makes it worse. If we come here and breakfast is bad, and then dinner was just as bad, it's one thing. But breakfast is really, really good. <sighs> Let's side. Two out of five points. Maybe just stick with the shrimp and grits. And the chicken. Desserts. In the dessert station, I get everything about the apple cobbler and the 50th celebration cookie that I'm not going to eat. I got most of the unique stuff. None of it plant based. Not a single one. Not a single one in the station. Plant based. No, no leaf symbol anywhere. Do you have any of my Not up there. Supposed to be one Maybe you have to ask for it. There's not, this, there's not a single vegan thing labeled, labeled at the dessert station. Gonna dig from the front. We have a nice uh, strawberry shortcake square. It's strawberry, it's cake, and it is in fact short. Nice, airy, not too dense, and moist. It is good strawberry shortcake. We've reached the point where I'm delivering things like the news. Three out of five. Next up on the news, the s'mores tart. It's a tart, but it's s'mores. Nice and pillowy, marshmallow on top. Chocolate. A graham cracker tart. And toasted marshmallow. It is in fact a s'mores, but fancy. Three out of five s'mores. Butterscotch pudding. Not looking forward to this one with caramel popcorn on top. I do this for you. It's like somebody blended Werther's chocolate, or the little Werther's. Caramels with milk. I can do that with popcorn though. Two and a half out of five points. We have a blueberry dome with a little bow on top. I'm getting Marie vibes. Maybe. Eat the whole dome. Call from the crowds to eat the whole dome. <laughs> Eat the whole dough. As I drop Eat the, the whole dough. Eat the whole dough. It's a lot of blueberry. Fresh blueberry, at the very least. There's a lot more fruit for it than I'm expecting. Three out of five points. Last up, we have the French silk cupcake. No idea what that's supposed to mean, but they got it anyway. And we're gonna eat cupcake in the traditional, true dessert connoisseur style, as I was trained by the princess. Give that a little twist. Put that up there. And now we'll be pie. 
True to its name, it is in the back soaky. Three and a half out of five points. The desserts. They won't make up for the rest of the buffet. Who am I wanting to? It's desserty. It's good. They're standard desserts. A little above average. This is just disappointment, tongue tightness at this point. It's a book. Crystal Palace. Not as good for dinner as it was for breakfast. Everything we heard was true. It was terrible. Basically. It was absolutely terrible. We will be back for breakfast. It was like a one out of five. It's gonna be hard to get me to come back over there. Don't come here for dinner. They could be having an off night, but when every plate's an off night. Don't come here for dinner. It's not an off night. Don't come here for dinner. You heard the girl. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Doesn't matter which form. We're doing it all of the ways. So watch. And remember, do not come here for dinner. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.